All right. Hello, everybody. So in this video, we're going to have a special guest on, and that's my dad. And he's, he's going to read me a bedtime story. And um, you might be wondering why he's reading me a bedtime story. It's because... Dad, do you want to explain it's why? Bedtime. It's bedtime. Wait, what? It's because... I have a hard time sleeping, and the only way I could have a good night's sleep is just hearing my dad talk because he makes me tired. Just his voice and the way he uses his voice just makes me very tired. Um, and then we're also um, gonna share you a special book, and it's a book that I wrote myself because of copyright stuff, which I don't want to get into. So we're gonna read a special book called Samantha the Cat. Oh, I mean, Dad will read Samantha the Cat. No. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Samantha the Cat <clears throat> by Rachel Kern. Summary. You need to read the summary. The summary. When? How old were you when you wrote this book? Elementary. Rachel. Elementary. <laughs> Elementary school age? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to read my, my okay. way. Remember, my grammar in, uh, was not good, so beware, warning, warning. Summary. This book is how one cat named Samantha, who wants to be a dog, then realized that it is hard. <laughs> Soon in this book, you will learn this special quote. <laughs> Do you think that Samantha will be a dog? Then read this book to find yeah. out. <laughs> you have to show I me. hope you love this book, <laughs> Samantha the Cat. You have to show me. Oh. You don't have to show the camera. Just show me. <laughs> I haven't seen this book in like five years. So. Question. What is the lesson <laughs> in this book? <laughs> Dedication. I dedicated this book to my English teacher, Mrs. Picker. She is the one who taught me new things and helped me with my book. I also dedicate this book to my China parents, showing them I finally wrote a book for them. And I dedicate to my friends and family that showed me the way. <laughs> you're welcome. Shut up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a cat named Samantha, who lived with her mother and two sisters on a farm. Aww. Original artwork by Rachel Kern. <laughs> Shut up. One day, Samantha went outside, and she heard a weird barking sound. She looked behind her and saw a dog playing. What would it be like to be a dog, Samantha wondered. And here's and in the bubble it says, What would it be like to be a dog? <laughs> Cats are so boring, lazy, and the way we slurp milk, it is really annoying. Dogs seem to have fun playing outside, go on walks and run around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of that bone that one Shut had. up! <laughs> so Samantha went towards the dog, whose name was Milo. Can you teach me how to be a dog? Samantha asked. Milo said, yes. Pay close attention now. <laughs> Let's try sit, said Milo. <laughs> sit, but Samantha rolled over. No, that is not it. This is, so Milo showed Samantha the right way. Next, we will practice come. <laughs> come, said Milo, but Samantha licked her paw. Milo shook his head. Well, maybe we should try stay. Stay, said Milo, but Samantha fell asleep. That's kind of stay. It was hard for Samantha, but she kept trying but couldn't do it. 
How about we try tomorrow, said Milo. Samantha looks concerned. Of course she is. The next day, Milo was waiting for Samantha. He waited and waited, but she didn't come. So Milo walked over to find Samantha. So Milo looked for Samantha. <laughs> Milo looked at the hay area, but wasn't there. Then Milo went to the cows, but still didn't find Samantha. Then Milo was about to give up. Then he heard her crying and saw Samantha at the barn. You see Samantha down there? Uh -huh. <laughs> then Samantha said she was going to give up. She couldn't learn how to sit, come, and stay, and she knew it. Then Milo said, Cats are fun. What do you mean? Samantha asked. Is that a bird? I don't know. I thought <laughs> it was maybe Superman or Batman. Cats are soft. <laughs> <laughs> they climb trees. <laughs> and they don't have to wear a leash. Soon Samantha got up. Just be the way you are, Samantha, said Milo. Aww. I think I know what the lesson of this book is. And therefore, Samantha, rather be a cat than a dog. The end. <laughs> About the... <laughs> No. About the author. Oh, no, no. My name is Rachel <laughs> Kearns. I am 12 years old. I live in Minnesota. I was born and adopted in China. I wrote this book because I want to show the kids that you don't have to change, even if your friends do it. Just be the way you are. That is my quote. Thank you for reading my book. Oh, ew, that photo. That one? I don't even know where it was taken. I don't even know. The where. end. What there you, you go. So, Dad, what do you think of this book? I think it was a very good first book. Do you think it could be like a TV show or movie? Like a children's book? Judging by what I've seen on TV these days? <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I have. Uh, thank you for letting me read your book, <gasps> Rachel. I have to go take care of. All right. Thank you. This and now it's name is not Milo. All right, guys, and that was my guest star, uh, John Bradley Kearns. Thank you for reading my book. Sadly, this is the only copy of this book. But if you want any more copies, then just rewatch this video. And if you or your child have trouble sleeping, just rewatch this video and you will understand <laughs> and your child will fall asleep because they're hearing my dad talk. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye, Aster. Come here, Leo. Come on. Aw, bye, Emmy. Come. It is. Uh, he's doing well. Look, he's, all, he's starting to grow. Look at him. I love you so much, my Shinoka Wuku. No, no, no. I'm up there. Ow, ow. Help me. Help me. Help. No, I, I, I. Bye.